Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox, and if you're new, welcome. Today I am unboxing some Happy Mail. This is going to the most genuine, sweet girl on Instagram, Kitty Kate, and I have created for her a Happy Mail. I've decorated the box here with the um, Sunny Days collection. It's a Maggie Holmes swap. Um, this is from the carousel line, everything else here is from Sunny Days. And this is the top of the box. So you can see I've created a little shaker pocket here for her. I've um, popped up some of this on a number of different layers of tags and did a little die cut flower. Um, I've ripped some paper up at the top here and I put her name above. I've done some stitching around and then I put one of these fabric pink bows. So I'm just going to show you what I've created for her and by the time you see this she will have received it and opened it so I can share with you the contents inside. So the first thing that I have wrapped here for her, and you can see I've actually fussy cut all of these flowers out of the 12 by 12 paper, and I've done some little die cuts, and I've gone ahead and I've put them on this paper. Now this paper is Maggie Holmes as well. It is from the Willow Lane collection. And um, inside here is a package of Sunny Days 6x12 uh, chipboard stickers. In the second package here, I have decorated the 6x8 Sunny Days paper pad. And I've just come in with a few stickers, some of the thickers that came from that collection, as well as some of the ephemera. I've stitched around just with a black pen um, in the white spaces of the uh, photos there. And I put it on a gold doily. That will go there. Another wrapping. All of the wrapping paper from these past few packages are from the Willow Lane collection. And you can see that the colors coordinate quite nicely. These are Maggie Holmes thickers as well from the Flourish line. So I've added a bit of gold in there. I've wrapped it um, around with some of this crate paper and um, layered a few of the cut aparts. Okay, so here I've created a pocket letter that I have sealed with a clip. Now I've left this side plain over here so that if she wants to be like me and put it in a binder so she can keep them all together. This has all been created with the Sunny Days collection and I've created a shaker pocket up in the corner here. I've come in with a little Prima, Prima flower and I've fussy cut a little camera from the 6x8 paper pad. This Yura Peach is one of my favorite papers and I fussy cut again some of the um, six by eight paper pad with those circles and I put a little bit of gold thread underneath there fussy cut a little camera again these are the stickers from the collection this is my favorite sticker from the six by twelve sticker sheet I tucked a little tag in there some of the stickers from the thickers. This is one of the ephemera. I also, this is my favorite ephemera piece, this see-through girl. She goes really well on here. So I've decorated the back with some crepe paper and tags, a little follow your heart. Some more layering here, another of those sort of see-through ephemera pieces. And sometimes it's hard to use those. And I find these pocket pages a really good way to utilize those. And then I've added a little feather to our bird here. Collect moments, not things. And then in the back, I have die cut for her from the collection, some different shapes and um, bows and stars and hearts and um, little things that she can use to go along with the um, other materials that I have sent to her. So that is the 
pocket letter I've created for her. And then the main thing that I have made for her is a loaded hoop. Now, this loaded hoop, if any of you saw, I had a video where I did a haul. I went to the um, Value Village or Salvation Army. It was a second answer. It was Value Village. And there was a beautiful mobile that was brand new that had never been used. And it had these adorable little bears that I couldn't leave at the store. And I later thought that I could turn this into a hoop mail. So what I did... I'm going to take all the packages out so I can show them all individually to you. And I can show you the hoop even on its own. Okay, so what I did here was I just cut one of these circle, half circles. In fact, I cut out a whole circle and then I cut it in half. And then I did half on the back and half on the front. And then I just decorated it up with some of the um, fussy cut flowers and tags. I created these tags from one of the 12 by 12 cut apart sheets and I went in, uh, punched a hole and then I put eyelets on there. This here, okay, so there's two beautiful gifts from some happy mail that I received. This one's from Amber and this one's from Brandy and I will link their channels down below and the happy mail that they sent to me but this little rosette was created by amber and this beautiful heart was created by brandy and i'm going to show you actually another item that was created by brandy so brandy gifted me these beautiful that word says it all right there these beautiful pockets that are meant to be reused and gifted and I had to send them to a paper crafter that I know would love and appreciate it. It's hard to part with but I'm happy to share it and it actually matches beautifully the theme um, in this. So you can see she left the pocket open and I did as well so that Kate can reuse it also and inside I've included this fun glam glow bubble sheet mask that is really supposed to be just hilarious to work with you put it on your face and it all foams up and and I could see her really enjoying it and it's supposed to be an excellent mask as well so that is one of the focal points that will sit in my hoop mail and then I will show you I created an envelope for her and you can see on the back there I've just sealed it with some twine by wrapping it around and tying a bow um, this is a doodle bug doily. I love the size of the doodle bug doily, but if you can look, I don't know if you can see, it's like a really bright pink. And I was like, I wish that this was a lighter pink. I want that size. And I just flipped it over and I used the opposite side and it had a perfect shade of pink that I needed that you can see matches this collection perfectly. Uh, I love these shells on the card. This is a Prima flower that I, um, I splattered the whole thing with some Heidi Swap color shine, including the flower. And these are some of the gems that came in the collection. And inside this one, I believe, are the bows. The bows that I have on here, that pink and blue bow. And I believe that is what is inside this gift. So all of these will tuck inside. This is a little folio that Serena B. Creative inspired me. She did hers a little bit different size. I've extended mine a little bit, but um, I really have enjoyed creating these little folios. Inside I've tucked in some, so here I made her a little tag with a um, eyelet in there and I've cut out some cut aparts from one of the 12 by 12 pages. So these all come from a 12 by 12 page that um, that she can have now to use all these little cut aparts in there and I decorated it. I did a punch along to uh, get those hearts dancing above and then I just went in with some of the stickers and I created each of the little pockets. And then this was a little made with love. I created this at a scrapbooking retreat and one of the girls who was there had that and I said, well, that's the perfect little touch that I need to go alongside. Let me cut that off there. To go alongside. And again, I've sealed it. This golden claw here, 
I uh, love these clips. And this was from Carlton Cards is where I got um, these clips from. So I'm happy to share those because I find them really beautiful and, um, and very good to reuse. Another little bag, I've got a polka dot bag here and I've sealed it in a way that she can just open it and she can remove the sunny days charms or gems. Um, you'll see these used throughout, like right here and um, throughout the different, right there, um, embellishing. I just used a doily on the top and circle of the ephemera. This is from Willow Lane. Again, everything in here is from Maggie Holmes. This is created with um, carousel. So I was sent a carousel happy mail from Brandy. And that was one of the beautiful creations that she included alongside me. And I knew that it had to be used and it had to go to someone who would genuinely appreciate it. So in this I wanted to include a few little treats for her to be able to enjoy. And this is a candy bar that you can only get in Canada. So I've put that in here. And if weight allows, I think I will add um, a couple more candy bars. I have to keep this under a certain weight. Sending from Canada to Australia is very expensive. So again, I've done the same thing here where I have folded it, but I haven't sealed it. And inside I have created some shaker pockets for her. And so these are little shaker cards that says sunny and bright. This says falling in love with this place vacation. And this one goes this way and it says a moment to explore. Beautiful. And again, a prima flower that I splashed with some Heidi Swap Color Shine. These are again some thickers from Maggie Holmes Flourish, and this is from the Maggie Holmes Sunny Days collection. So those are tucked away inside of here. It's kind of um, interesting to create for someone that you think is so talented because you almost feel nervous that it's like not gonna be like the same level of her st stuff that she creates but everybody is different and I've created something that's genuinely me um, this one I did seal at the top here with just my tiny attacher and this is the ephemera pack for the sunny days collection and I've if you can see this fun iridescence this um, chipboards or not the chipboard the cardstock stickers have this really neat iridescence to them again I put the eyelets in on these cut aparts that I made tags out of fussy cut these flowers and topped it with a bow so that will all go in here so I'm going to add some Shred. Let me get that right out of there. Some shred all around. Get some more shred along the bottom. It's not really a lot of room um, that I need to take up again. I'm trying to be efficient with the space and the weight. It's more based on weight, but I'll add in some little polka dots and uh, that's everything so I thank you so much for watching see you again next time bye